Hey folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and you guys have been asking for me to do a review, or a compare actually, where I compare the Ranchilio Silvia with the Breville Barista Pro. So you asked, so I'm going to do it. Um, let's go over the stats of the Silvia first. The Silvia has been around for probably 20 some years. It's had a couple of different uh, changes to it, very, very slight. Still basically the same machine. It's a boiler machine, a 12 ounce boiler on the inside, copper and brass, about this big. It's a single boiler, so you can't brew and steam at the same time. It is a traditional steam worm with a portafilter that is 58 millimeter, which is actually the same portafilter they use in their commercial machines. 58, comes with a non-pressurized only, double and single. And then I believe it also comes with the back flush disc, the blind basket as well. It has um, a stainless steel casing, as you can see. Water tank right back here that comes out. It's got hoses and it comes out. Um, like I said, stainless steel casing, traditional steam worm, drip tray right down here. The drip tray is a small drip tray. That's always been a complaint with Sylvia, but if they get it, too big, the casing has to go up and it's gonna go up above 14 inches. Right now it's at about 14 inches tall. This is your steam button. This is for making hot water come out of the steam arm if you wanna make it Americano. And this is your brew button. And this is your on and off. This tells you that the machine is on. If this was lit, it tells you that the boiler is heating up. Now with a machine like this, it has a variance when the boiler kicks in, it could be what the ideal temperature, let's go back, is 195 to 204. This could be at 180, 185 when the boiler kicks in and then it'll bring it up to about 211 or so. So the range, that range is not 195 to 204. So you can put a PID on this to improve it or you can do temperature surfing, which we have a video on that. Check that out on our website. Or on YouTube you're not going to get the ideal temperature unless you do one of those two things or you know the machine and you know that after the light turns off so many seconds it's ready to go it's at the right temperature because as the light it, when the light is off the boiler is starting to cool down like that so that's the Sylvia has components on the inside that are mostly copper and a little bit of uh, silicone tubing but mostly a commercial grade under the hood. Let's move over to the Barista Pro. This machine is a, it does not have a traditional boiler. It has a thermojet. And what that does is it actually heats the water on the fly. And this machine, when you turn it on, this machine you're gonna wait a good 10 minutes or so for the boiler, eight to 10 minutes for the boiler to be up to temperature. That doesn't mean the brew head and the porter filter are going to be hot. On this machine, when you push the button, within three seconds, the thermojet is heated up and ready to go. Again, the porter filter and the brew head are not hot, but eight to 10 minutes versus three seconds. This thing warms up really, really fast. It has a grinder included up here that you can make adjustments to right here. You can change the grinder to dial it in to get the proper shot. The Sylvia, you have to buy a standalone grinder to go with it. This has a 54 millimeter, whoop, basket stayed up there. 54 millimeter uh, portafilter. It comes with two sets of baskets, double and single pressurized, double and single non-pressurized. The pressurized ones make it a little bit easier for the newbie to get their feet wet and learn how to use this machine. Then you can move to the other baskets, the non-pressurized that are included. So uh, stainless steel clad casing, uh, it's technically stainless steel over plastic in the back. Water tank right back here that comes out pretty easy, no hoses. An audible alarm that says, fill me, it's out of water. Uh, it comes with two programmable buttons. On the Sylvia, you turn it on and you turn it off. These are programmable for volume in the cup. 
It also, uh, this is for how much grind goes down into the portafilter. And then there's a menu, which you can adjust these uh, right here. And then you can also, um, you, can, you can change the volume. It also has a um, temperature PID built into the machine as well. And it'll give you a, a couple of different levels that you can put it at. It isn't a temperature PID like some PIDs where you set the temperature and it keeps it within one degree. When you do this one and put it, like say, on hot, it's going to keep it within two degrees of whatever that setting is. And I honestly don't know what the number is that I'm going to put to that. Uh, power button right here, drip tray right down here. I would say a larger drip tray than the Sylvia. Uh, you can see it's probably at least twice as large. And a little accessory tray that comes out with the drip tray, and that's where you store your, those extra baskets and the tools that come with it. A uh, nice stainless, uh, traditional steam arm, uh, grinder built in, tamper. That's the basics between those two. So what's left to do? We'll make a drink and see what you think. And it's the same coffee in each one of these, and it's the <coughs> Seattle Rainier <coughs> Morning Blend made especially for us by Brandywine. So this is good stuff. This is on our website. Check it out. And then we've got the Specialita from Eureka here that we're going to use with the Sylvia. I dialed it in. I'm going to do this one first. Why is that sticking up there? Get the coffee ready now. <clears throat> Both of these, this one's a little bit warmer. So to get this one up to temperature, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of blind shots through it. You could take it to the sink and warm it up with hot water, or you can run some uh, blind shots. And that's just hot water going through there to heat it up prematurely before the boiler does its job or the thermo jet. The other thing on this machine is it has, with its programming, it has um, pre-infusion built into it or you can manually pre-infuse for as long as you want and brew as long as you want by using the override. This one, there is no pre-infusion built into it. It's not designed for it. Eh, one more. We want to give this a fair shake. Okay, that's good enough. Hot, hot, hot. I don't want to touch it. Yeah. Let's get some coffee in here. You know, I'm doing everything from an odd angle, for me anyway. You can pause the grinder, shake down the hump the lump in the middle, and then resume. Okay. Fifty-four millimeter, that's is a fifty-eight. I don't know if I mentioned the size. I'm going to do the steaming first. Now this makes steam on the fly as well, just like the uh, Thermojet makes hot water on the fly. So I'm going to purge, turn this to steam. I'm going to purge any condensation that might be in there. I would do the same on the Sylvia. This should take a little bit longer than the Sylvia because it's producing on the fly. That stores steam in the boiler.
I'm not trying for latte art foam. I'm going for the real thing where you get it up to the actual temperature so that you can see the differences in length of time. All right, so what's left? Let's make a shot or drink, not just a shot. I got the milk all done. You can pause, shake down the mound in the middle. Then resume. Pre-infusion. Then a bit of a wait time. And then brew. I'm going to stop that because I think it's got reprogrammed, which is fine. You get to program yours. Look at that. Wish somebody was here to do some art for me. Ooh, that is pathetic. <laughs> yeah, let's see what it tastes like, though. That's what counts. Tastes pretty good. Oh. Let's move over to the Sylvia. Now on this one, you want to steam first. So I'm going to turn that on, and when that light goes out, it's ready to steam. It's going to take a little bit longer than it would on the barista. That's just the nature of the beast because it has a bigger boiler in there, more to steam, more to bring up to temperature. Meanwhile, I can get my coffee ready. I can do that. Yeah, see, that it's going to take a little more time. Meanwhile, yep, pretty good. I could have turned it on ahead of time, but I wanted to show you that that's what the difference is. Mm-hmm. Steaming is a much higher temperature than brewing. There, it's ready to go. So I'm going to purge it. As you can see, this is going to be a different beast for sure. Whoop, ah, spilling milk. Takes a little more technique because you're dealing with something that's a lot more forceful. Oh. Come on. all the way. Mm 
See, we're using the steam, so it's getting cooler. So the boiler has to kick back in again. I'm going to shut that off now, too. Okay, that's hot. I didn't have that quite open all the way, first part of it, but uh, it would have gone just a little bit faster. Now, the other thing you can do with this is now you can turn on the water. Dispense hot water. Essentially, it's taking cold water from here and bringing it into the hot boiler and cooling the boiler down, plus it's, it's cleaning that steam tip. And then that light is going to come on. Okay, the light came on. Now the boiler is cooled down to the point of below brewing temperature. Now we're just going to wait for it to come up to the brewing temperature. And when it says it's done, we are going to brew. And again, it's going to be a little bit on the hotter side, so you want to look at that surfing temperature video. In good, good foam. Operator error. So this is a different process than you're going to do with other machines. This is a little more labor intensive. This is essentially the temperature surfing I was talking about. Now, if we were to wait about 30 seconds, it'd be down. It'd start to go on its down, and that would be about right. I'm not going to wait that extra 30 seconds. I want to get this show, showing, showing you what the deal is. Again, you turn it on, you turn it off. Nice looking shop. I don't think there's going to be any foam here to make anything at all. So that's my reason this time. Look at that. A little bit. The tulip in the spring. That's a different drink. Uh, I'm tasting more of the coffee, a little fuller body on the coffee. Of course, you're dealing with a 58 millimeter portafilter versus a 54. You're going to get more grams in this. This is a little more, uh, like I said, fuller body. They're both good. So I guess it depends on how much work you want to do. Uh, they both take some work. I would say the Barista Pro takes less work, less time. Sylvia, you're going to get a little better shot, but more work, more time. Standalone grinder versus a grinder that's built in. It's really your call. There is no right or wrong. It's just a case of what's going to work best for you. And that's why we do the videos, to show you what the differences are. Uh, so check them out on our website. We have crew reviews of each one of these. And the stats are listed on the website as well. Height, width, depth, all that kind of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. So cheers. Have a great day.